G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look what I've got, another one of those vinyl placemats. Do you remember when I made this one, this bowl? I used one of the vinyl placemats. This one, that's the back. You can get them in different colors. I just get them from eBay, but I've seen them on Amazon. And um, I laid it down and I, I put colours in each of them, which was a bit tricky. Um, and then I sort of moulded it into a bowl. It's pretty thin. Um, I think last time, I can't actually remember what I did. I think I just put um, like pop sticks underneath. Mm, or glue. Actually, I can't remember. But anyway, I'm going to go again with this new placemat I've got. I bought a few different colours. This is like a... It's a champagne gold one. There is a gold gold, but it looks really quite yellow and I didn't want to use it. So I'm going to go with this one. I've got it on a piece of plastic, just a plastic bag that I've cut down. Um, one of the bags that I send my molds, my molds away in. And I've just, because I'm going to try and fit it on this board here, you see. So I've got it equal distances from the edge here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my corking gun, my silicone. It's just, I don't know if I can turn it around, it's it's just all-purpose silicone clear. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is, I'm, I'm just going to go around the edges because I want it to be a little bit thicker this time. Because like I said, this is really quite thin. It's only the thickness of the actual um, vinyl. So it's not very thick at all. So I thought I'd try and see if I can like build up little walls on it. So, here I go. Let me see if I can get this. I don't want to really put it on top of my placemat. I want to try and get it just on the sides. So it's going to just take a little bit of patience. Oops. Try to squeeze and <laughs> so anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I think what I'll and I'll, to get into these little points here, I think I'll use a little bit of a toothpick. See if I can kind of push it into those and make little points. And then over here, where I've kind of gone over the placemat, I want to get that away because I don't want it to go over. Don't touch the silicone. If you want to touch the silicone, make sure that you dip your fingers into some um, soapy water, like just dishwashing detergent. Otherwise, it will really stick to you and you'll just be a, a sticky mess. So, now that's all I'm going to do. So, I'll, um, you don't need to see me do it, do you? I haven't glued this down or anything. It's just sitting here. So, hopefully, I... I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to peel this away from the silicone. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm hoping I can. Um, if not, I'll just have to kind of snip. But I'm, I'm trying not to get on top. I'm just going next to it. So I'm going to finish that off um, and then um, let it dry. And then I'll come back to you. You don't need to see me do the whole thing. You get the general idea. I'll be back shortly. Righto guys, I've done all the corking. Now I've got a little bit of water and some dish soap in there. So what I want to do is I just want to go around and just lightly sort of push down, make sure that it's all got good contact with the piece of plastic. And if there's any little gaps there between the silicone and the placemat, I'll just sort of push them towards the placemat. Just giving it a nice level surface, whoops, with a bit of pressure. Over here I've pushed a little bit hard, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip a stick in. I am actually going to go all the way around with my stick and just smooth my sides over. Make sure that it's all, you know, the same sort of height. You don't want any low patches that the 
resin's going to flow out of. So let's just continue. I'm just going to lightly push all the way along. See, there's a little bit there that's a bit low. I'll just make the little wall a bit higher there. And then just with the pop stick, just going to push the sides up. Make sure that they're nice and straight. You don't have to do this. But, you know, if you're going to, I think, if you're going to do something, do it to the best of your ability. Um, and I just want to make sure that my little sides are straight. See, so you could go in with your finger, but because your finger's curved, obviously, you're not going to get a very straight line. So that's why I thought a pop stick would work well. But just make sure that you dip it first, <laughs> otherwise it's going to get stuck. So I'm going to do that all the way along. Make sure that it's all no silicone hanging over the top of the placemat. I've <laughs> finished up there and gone down here. That's all right. So I'm just lightly pushing it down, making sure we've got good contact with that plastic. Don't want any silicone uh, resin escaping underneath. So just very lightly. If you push too hard, you're going to displace your silicone and it's going to go, it's going to really push over the top of your placemat, which is why you need to then go back over it with your little stick and make sure that it's nothing's hanging over too much because it is going to kind of flop over when you push like this. Just very gently though, don't push too hard. Make sure that where your little, where your bits of corking join that you haven't got a gap. Okay, so that's that done. Now I just need to finish with this, making sure it's all nice and neat. A little bit of preparation and um, you'll have a really good result. As long as I can get the silicone off my placemat. That's going to be the tricky part. I don't know if it's going to stick or not. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get it off or not. It might be a permanent fixture. I may have to actually like snip it off or sand it off later on. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. We will find out, I guess. All right, just continuing here. Over here, I've pushed it down a little bit too far it's gone over my little placemat Let's push it back again it's like pushing your cuticles back doesn't take too long just make sure you keep dipping otherwise you're going to get a stuck stick and nobody wants a stuck stick. Okay, I think that's pretty good. If I have got any resin that sort of sneaks underneath, I'll just trim it. Well, there we go. So that now I've got a decent height um, of silicone all the way around that I can pour resin into. I'm, I'm just going to do clear resin. Um, I'm going to let this gold shimmery gorgeousness speak for itself. I'm not going to put any color into it. Um, if you particularly wanted to, you know, you could do what I did with this one um, and use some color and, you know, maybe make these inner leaves one color. But because it's not stuck to the bottom, they're going to, the resin's going to kind of flow underneath. So you will get a little bit of blending. But if you're fine with that, Go for it. And these ones here, these haven't got very big holes in them at all. Um, but yeah, you could. You know, you could do a color, 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 color. And then these ones a different color. And then maybe in there a different color. So there's lots of different things you could do. So I will probably do more of these. If this peels out on its on its own, I might be able to keep that external piece actually <laughs> and use it again. Oh, all right. Anyway, we'll see. Right. Um, I'm going to give it a few hours. I've got some things to do. I've got to pop out. Uh, and I'll come back and if it's dry, if it's set, we'll pour some resin in, hey? All right. See you then.
Righto guys, I'm back. It's been about four hours-ish. The silicone still feels like soft. It's not sticky at all. It just kind of feels spongy. So I don't know. I don't think the silicone actually dries rock hard. Anyway, I'm going to go with it. Now, you remember how I was telling you if you put your black colours in each section, um, which would be fine. You'd only have to put a little bit in so it wouldn't cover your gold otherwise there's no point of having the gold um, so you'd have to put your color in and then leave it lower than the top of the gold so then you'd have to let it set then you'd have to come back and put a clear layer over the top which is fine but because the bottom layer has set you won't be able to form it into a bowl so you could leave it as um, maybe you could put handles in it and have a tray you could turn it into a clock what a beautiful clock would that be I might have to do one um, what else? Oh, it could just be a piece of wall art, all kinds of things. But because I'm, if I want to do a bowl, so I have to do it all in one layer. I just wanted to clear that up. Right. Now, when I did this one, it's very thin. Like I said, it's only the thickness of that PVC, that plastic. So I only used one cup of resin. This is bigger. See, it's a bigger piece. And also I want it sort of twice as thick. So I've gone with two cups of resin. And um, I have to be really, really careful because you can't torch. Well, if you do, you have to be really careful because you're going to melt the plastic. I've stuck the, I've pulled the plastic tight and I've stuck it down to the sides just so it doesn't move. Right, here we go. I wonder if I maybe pour from up high. Maybe I'll get less bubbles. I don't know, maybe I'll get more bubbles. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just pour it in. Hope I don't get any leaks through the silicone. I won't pour it all in, just to make sure that I haven't made too much and it's going to Go over the top. Oops, do that. <laughs> I'd hate to have it overflow. That would be awful. All right. Let's just help it spread out to the edges. Better do it gently. I don't want to incorporate bubbles, obviously. We don't want too many bubbles in it. Um, if it does get bubbles in it, you know, there's not much you can do about it. Like I said, you've got to be really careful with torching because you can melt the plastic underneath. Um, and then it would just be a big mess, wouldn't it? <laughs> yep. Okay, looks as if I can put some more in. Go into my little points here. Now I've got it stuck in my mind that I want to make a clock or something like that out of it. I have got my clock mold though. I've um, actually had some more pieces of timber cut, so I will be doing another clock mould soon. And I also want to do another one of my tic-tac-toe moulds, you know, my big tic-tac-toe moulds. Oh, that's empty. So I want to find some things that I've got in the studio, maybe like little dried flowers and things like that and make like a, a, a nature type of one for the tic-tac-toe with little bits of flowers and leaves and things like that I think that would be really pretty that purple is just paint on my timber <laughs> don't worry about that okay so yeah that's coming up I'd like to do that can you see any leaks keep your eyes open can you see any leaks yet I shouldn't say yet I'm hoping I won't get any leaks uh, no <laughs> I haven't looked actually I'm concentrating on Spreading this to, into the little corners. I just, I just hope I can get the silicone off my plastic. That's all. I don't know what I'm going to do if it gets stuck. I'll be in a real world of hurt then, won't I? Yeah, look at this. It looks as if I'm going to use it all. You know. That was well organized. It was actually, to be exact, five hundred and seventy. And I'm using the Platinum Super Clear because it doesn't go off as fast as the 360. 
the Platinum 360 because I thought I'm not quite sure you know how fast it's going to go off because that's a big deep cup there um, and some resins if you keep them in a really deep container they go off really quickly and I didn't want that to occur so I just went with my super clear that I've still got lots of all right let's check my boundaries here my borders oh look there's no leaks no leaks oh wow so impressed look at that I know it's not terribly exciting is it but you know you do so many resin pieces that are you know bright and they've got micas in them and there's all different colors and you know it's like a block color and you get the dragon scales or whatever but I think it's nice sometimes just to have something simple and elegant like this it's just simple and elegant which is what I wanted now um, I'm going to just very gently see if I can use this little little guy just really quickly over the top oh look oh I've missed that bit there I thought I'd gone out onto each little petal, but I've missed a petal. Is it a petal? All right, you're done, you're done, you're done, you're done. I better go and check them all. Yes, 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 yeah, there's a bubble. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, there we go. Now, just with the little tiny torch, just really lightly. And pretty quickly just going over I could if I was going to use a huge big heat gun you know the heat would transfer straight down onto my plastic but with this little guy he's only got a tiny little flame you can probably hardly even see it there it's just popping bubbles on the surface I hope <laughs> I hope <laughs> and I'll do this again in a few minutes I'll let the bubbles come to the surface and um, I'll do it again I can see the bubbles because I can see the like the lights shining down so I can see the bubbles shining in the light there so but I'm being really careful not to get too close I'm keeping it going I know you can pop the bubbles with alcohol but when I've done that with coasters, I could actually see like spots on the finished coaster. It's okay if you then turn your coaster over and using the other side, but when I've sprayed alcohol on the top and I want the top showing, I haven't been happy with the top surface. It's got like this mottledy look. So I'm just wary <clears throat> about doing that bits of information for you tonight hey lots of little tidbits of information or is it tidbits <laughs> all right there we go um oh, that looks really pretty i'm going to take you down so that you can see the shimmer and the shine from my side um and then i will come back and torch again in a little while once the bubbles have had a chance to surface but look at that, look at the shine of it, hey? I know the ring light's in the way there, but look at the shine. So pretty. I don't know if I can see any. I'll stand over here so you don't see the ring light. Um, just trying to see if there's any bubbles. I can't really. It's a bit hard to... um find them through here but you, there's a close-up see that it's got small little holes there and then over here we've got the bigger holes is that a bubble oh uh, no it's just a piece of plastic so yeah it's looking really pretty I know it doesn't look very much it looks the same as before I put the resin on doesn't it but look it'll be really pretty um, when I come back I'll show you the platter I'm not putting it in a deep bowl because I want it to be a really shallow platter because I want you to be able to see all these gold leaves 
if you put it in something really deep, all you're going to see is the underneath of these petals, which is white. And, you know, you don't want to see that. You want to see the, the top, the gold. So it's going to be in a very shallow platter. So there we go. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. All right. I'll see you in, um, oh gosh, it's nearly 7 p.m. I better not have to stay up too late. I'll check it in, I'll check it in three hours. It might be ready. All right. See you soon. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm exhausted. It's quarter past 12 in the early hours of the morning. I thought this was going to take like three hours. It's, um, it's been five and a half hours. I started pretty early, you know. I started this morning. I had to wait for the silicone to set. So... Oh, I just had to <laughs> stay awake. I should have been in bed two hours ago. All right, this is the tray I'm using. It's a metal one. Now I'm just going to slide that in. I'm hoping it's all right because when I... Um, where's my little toothpick gone? When I kind of poke it with a toothpick, it leaves a dent. Now, whoops, get off fluff. I have to push gently into there um, actually I should make sure that it's even first before I start pushing it looks about halfway there and halfway there and a tip there and a tip there okay so now I'm going to push in here all the way around I mean it's not you know sticky so it's not sticking to my hands but uh, I've left it as long as I could and I, I just have to go to bed. Now, the other thing I was trying to decide, do I want these petals to stand up or do I want them to kind of fold over a little bit? That was the other thing I was trying to decide. I just have to lift them up a bit like that to actually push this resin down. I'm thinking it might be nice just to sort of have them flowing over a little bit. I just have to make sure that that's in there. Actually, it's pretty good. I think I've left it just long enough, actually. If I'd left it any longer, I probably would have had trouble bending this in, hey? Got a bit of crease on the back of my plastic there. In you go, resin, in you go. I don't really want to put anything on top of it, you know, to push this down because then it'll leave a mark. So I just need to keep pushing it until it's made its way in. It doesn't have to be straight down, as long as it's not too much on an angle. But I need to pull the leaves up like this. Are they leaves or petals? the petals lift them up like that so that I can actually push that in all the way around I did have a little snooze and I tried to have a little snooze on the couch the dogs kept climbing on me and I set my alarm for midnight <laughs> oh dear the things we do for art hey all right, now what do you think of that sort of petals leaning over a little bit like that? This is still not sitting in as much as I would like it to. In you go. Because the weight of the petal is pulling it back out again. Oops, oh, I've got to be careful. <gasps> Don't push on it, I'll leave a fingerprint. Do you guys get those ripples? You know, when you're... When you're bending it and get those ripples or is it just me that gets them I know I've asked you this before in previous times where I've got the ripples it might have something to do with the fact that I've got something in the resin like the plastic in there because it's not moving and the resin wants to move right, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it any further in than that I'm just going to it's just going to kind of 
pop out again unless I put weights down on it or if I put if I hold these up do I want them up no I don't think so I think I just want them to just fall like that this one's falling a bit too much might be too far over Anyway, I'll have a little play with it. I'll turn the, the camera off in a minute. <laughs> I'll just continue to push this over. See that, the little tip there is the, the end of the silicone is just on the top there. And this is actually over. So it probably does need to come over this way towards you a little bit more. I'm going to make sure they're even as possible, hey? And then tomorrow, I still have to get up at the same time with the dogs. See, the dogs wake up early, so I have to go. I usually go to bed about 10 o'clock-ish because I need to get up early with the dogs. They don't know that I've had a late night. They just want to get up and get fed and all that sort of stuff. All right. How's that? Do I want to put something under this to keep it up a little bit or am I happy for it to sort of drape down? I wish you guys could answer me. These ones are sticking up. It's just these four big ones, one, two, three, four, that have, are touching the bottom now. I could put something underneath them just to stop them from falling down. I guess. I'm still not getting that shape in there that I'm after because the weight of the petals keeps pulling it out. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm sure I'm just boring you stupid now. Um, but basically, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right, I'll have another little play with it very, very quickly. And um, hopefully I can get into bed. See how this one's touching the, the bench? And I still need to push that in a bit. See, it's not sitting in quite enough. It's the weight of the petals that are sort of pulling it up. But I think it'll be all right. Otherwise, it's going to be like really straight down there instead of a a slope so the only thing I can do is put something underneath it there but then I don't want it pointing straight up I'd rather have it like that I think I'll leave it like that I, I quite like it hanging down a little bit like this do you do you like it like that it's so pretty oh my gosh I'm gonna be delirious with no sleep right I'll see you guys in the morning hope it sets up well night night Righto guys, I'm back <laughs> uh, and it's set, look. So what I ended up doing under these big petals is I just put a little bottle of mica under there just to keep them from sagging. So get those out and then hopefully I can get this silicone off. <clears throat> So I've had a couple of bad night sleeps in a row. You know, the other night where I um, I got to bed late and I couldn't get to sleep and, you know, your mind's racing. It's really not a good idea to do art and then go straight to bed because you've got the bright lights on and your mind's really stimulated and then you can't sleep. So that was me again last night. All right, let's have a little look. I guess the first is it coming off. Because the silicone stuck to the plastic, oh, okay, let's let's take the plastic off first then, eh? Get it out of the way. Hope you can see properly. I've got you down here next to me where I always do my reveal. So there's the plastic gone. Now, I can get rid of this too, because I don't need that there. Alright, it'll be much prettier once I get the silicone off. 
if I can get the silicone off that is the question oh it's coming off what's that okay it's a little bit of resin I guess you know where <clears throat> where the resin touches something that it doesn't necessarily like it doesn't always cure so I don't know whether I'm feeling stickiness from silicone or whether I'm feeling stickiness from um, resin. I'm going to try and keep this um, intact if I can. This piece of silicone. Whoops. I'm saying that. I'm trying not to break it. Push down in there. I don't know if I'll be able to get it off in one piece. Probably going to be quicker just to peel it off and let it break but I thought it might be nice to use it again for something else hey so anyway there's that bit done I've done two but it's it's um it's sticky underneath so I don't know like I said I don't know if it's resin or whether it's just silicone just got to push that down so I don't break my little points look it's coming out intact Hope you guys can see all right. It's got to be careful not to touch the top with my sticky fingers. Oh, it's coming off all right. Look at that. I was so worried <laughs> that it wasn't going to. I thought, because what does silicone stick to? Well, actually, <clears throat> if I answer my own question, silicone sticks to silicone, so it'll stick to itself. But um, I can use this silicone also for... Um, you know waterproofing in your bathrooms and around your tiles and things like that and it it sticks like it doesn't come off so that's why I was a bit concerned but it looks as if it's coming off let's push down in there because I don't want to break it and then I think once it's all dried properly I'll go around with my little dremel my little electric sanding thing well I've bought another one because the other Dremel like it's quite a big Dremel and I bought it from the hardware store I went to Bunnings and got it from there um, but then I've seen other people use these little little tiny little ones like they're just thin um, and I thought where are they getting those from and then it occurred to me that they're actually using them like the nail technicians are using them to file and shape nails fingernails so I looked into that and I got, it was really quite inexpensive. I think it was like $22, something like that, or $25. And um, I, I ordered a, a kit. So it came with the actual Dremel, which you plug in. It's got an Australian plug, which is what I need. And then it came with like 24 um, little sanding accessories. So I thought that's just brilliant look at this I've only got this little bit here to do so I ordered that hasn't arrived yet but um, I thought that would be really handy just for little things like this that I just want to use maybe in my studio not necessarily take outside and you know put my PPEs on and gloves and my mask if I just want to do like a little tiny thing I can do that so there it is let's just move this out of the way for one minute and see if I can actually which way was this uh, the other way upside down I don't know if I can was it no it was the other way like so okay so it's a little bit um I have to work on it a little bit to get it back into its original shape but um, I'm sure I I could or maybe you could like you could elongate it I guess and have like a a different sort of shaped platter look at that so you could do all kinds of things with it or if you just put it back into its little original shape and have those more pointed like so <laughs> all right well I'll um where am I going to put this now I'll put you over here hang on one sec let it dry out because like I said it's a little bit it's sticky still, so I'll just leave it there on that table. All right, let's have a look at this. I'm just gonna, just gonna wipe my hands. Hang on. Right. When I smelt my fingers, it was it smelt like silicone, not uh, resin. So that's a good thing. I think it's just the the silicone was a little bit tacky on, on the bottom. 
All right. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's so pretty. What am I going to put in it? So let's look at the edges. Hopefully you can see. There's not too much sanding to be done. There's a little bit there. See that little bit there that's kind of run, the resin's run under and just a tiny bit. It's to be expected, but it's not bad at all, is it? How can I show you that? Hopefully you can see that. I'll flip it over in a minute and show you the other side. But the other side's um, white. There's another little bit there that needs sanding. I have to wait till it's set up though because it was in contact with that silicone, the wet silicone, so it hasn't cured all the way yet. So yeah, I probably will take it outside and, and dremel it because there's quite a bit to be hand sanding, isn't it? Oh, radio. So that's really pretty. I don't know if it's sitting exactly flat. This side's a little bit higher. I oh, know it is sitting flat. Some areas I was able to push into the side of that tray a little bit more than others. Um, what I'll do though is I'll put it back into its tray, its platter, and I'll just leave it sort of overnight and let it cure up because it's only been sitting here for a few hours since I went to bed last night. All right, let's have a look at the other side. Okay, so it's the it's the white side. Oh look, we've got some areas there that I've I've missed. But it's on the back. No one's going to see. But that's what the back looks like. So that's why I didn't want to have um, too much of this showing. I only wanted, you know, little low petals. Because if you have them, like this one here, if you have them too high and you're looking side on, I guess that's not too bad. This, this one's more of a grey on the back to match the silver. And the other one was more like a cream on the back to match the gold. It's not too bad. Maybe next time I can try like a higher one, but I don't think so. The impact is in the center, so you don't want to have it like too cylindrical because then you can't see the inside. All you get to see is the icky backside. <laughs> All right, so there we go. There it is. Hope you've enjoyed that video. I'm now going to work out what to put in it. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go and just put that back in there for now um, and let it cure up in a minute is rock hard it's not going to move and um yeah i'll take a photo of it later on put some things in it maybe oh you know it might be really nice um like for your wine glasses and your wine or oh, what's that thing that you decant your red wine into <laughs> and you have it sitting there and with your glasses around it i can't rem i can't think what it's called Anyway, that would look really pretty as well. Okay, thanks for watching you guys. That was an ordeal, but um, loved it. Love the outcome. Really pretty. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video. Bye for now.